Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is war number 11, and we're going up against an alliance called Cry Havoc. And we have fought them before. Uh, once again, I don't remember how that turned out, uh, who won, who lost. Uh, but you can see the team that I'm going in here with. Uh, I got a request to change up my team. However, my team is set mainly because of the paths that I take. And because of flow, that defense tactic that I hate the most uh, right now, uh, I don't bring in my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Instead, I bring in Guillotine 2099. And she's going to see some use in this war. All right. So they didn't place anyone on that first node, which is common. And I'm going up against the hood. All right. And so you're going to see me playing it fairly slow uh, because of that defense tactic. All right. See right there. He's got a power flood. And that is because every time I crit, he's going to get a power gain buff for like 10 seconds until I parry him, which uh, will turn it off. So what you'll see me doing uh, when I have to deal with this is I'll hit once or twice, back off, try to parry and turn that off and then do it again, which means I have to fight slower, which is why I hate it because I like to fight aggressively. And that kind of thing makes me have to back off and play a slower paced um, type fight. All right, but we got our path done. And of course, when we got back, it was already cleared. So I did not take this first mini this time. Uh, if it had been cleared, I probably would have gone ahead and uh, taken that mini boss. Uh, so on to section two. And you see, I waved at that Iron Man Infinity War. We have someone that comes in with Corvus just to take care of that Iron Man Infinity War. All right, now. I'm going up against Doctor Strange, and I was a little worried about Doctor Strange. Uh, he's a control champion. However, this is why I brought in Guillotine 2099. So, as I said before, every time you crit, that's when you're going to get that power game buff to the defense tactic. So I want you to watch what happens here. You'll notice that Guillotine 2099 is not triggering any of it. That's because she does not crit. So the defense tactic flow means absolutely nothing to her. Now, this fight actually made me laugh out loud and you'll see why. So what I'm trying to do here is I want to end the fight with a special three. Uh, if your opponent is at 5% health, you are guaranteed or lower, you're guaranteed to destroy them. So you see here, I was waiting for 5% and he drops over. I actually laughed out loud. It robbed me of being able to start my next fight with her at 100 hits. I just had to laugh. In this case, he killed himself with his suicides. Committed suicide. Too funny. All right, so now I'm gonna have to fight Thing. And Thing can be tricky to fight, especially if he fights passively. Uh, the thing about Thing uh, is that you need to manage his rock stacks. You don't want to go to 15 and then hit him. You can hit into his block, but you want to basically get him to 15 or more and bait out a special, okay? So what you see me doing here, I'm trying to be very careful, trying to put as many spores on him as possible, okay? And you'll see me here, I'm watching the... Uh, the uh, rock charges all right and so far he's playing very well and I'm trying to do the heavies to lock in the uh, spores so right now he's at uh, 10 11 12 and then I'm gonna go all the way in 15 and back off bait out a special one you see that the rock charges all went and got reset to zero that's pretty much what you want to do when you're fighting thing okay so at this point, I know that I can take him out with a special three, but I just go ahead and finish him off normally so I don't have to sit through that special three animation. All right, so there is trouble in paradise. And coming up, you're going to see some uh, final me throwing my champions into fights 
just to try to get folks down. All right, so last war we lost and there was a lack of motivation. Uh, we lost two people and in this war, I don't think anyone really cared. Uh, at this point, we already know we lost the war. You know, we've given up so many deaths, people just didn't care. So um, I was asked, you know, me and a few other people, can we finish off Doom? I don't like this fight. Uh, this fight takes me way out of my comfort zone. Power gain, I hate fighting power gain. Just look at this. I only got a chance to hit a couple of times and I already have to back off. Okay, look at this. This is not fun for me. This is not a fun fight, okay? Having to back off and not play aggressively, all right? But if I had finished this fight off uh, or the previous fight with, you know, the special three, I would have been able to go down a little bit more. Now, I got wrecked there because I got a little too eager, which is what happens a lot of times, and pushed him to a special two. And I'm... I'm like about 50-50 in evading his special too. Now, I'm not worried about losing bonus attack or anything like that. By this time, it's all gone. So I'm like, you know what? I want to evade that special too. I got hit with the special two and it took out my guillotine 2099. I want to practice evading his special two. You know, and since I already know that we've lost this war, I said, you know, this might be a good time to practice. All right. Now, I messed up on that special one. It happens. I tried to dash back and I must have waited too late and it locked me in so that um, instead of dashing, you know, I just was not blocking and got hit. Uh, but that's a timing issue on my part. All right. Here we go. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Why couldn't I do that with Guillotine 2099? I don't know. But. It is what it is. But something that you may notice is that I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. I wasn't about to boost up or anything like that, okay? And Gladiator Hulk doesn't do a lot of damage unless his face me is active, all right? And then you see here, I'm in the corner. I just went all in like that, knowing that I'm just not, I don't wanna even worry about it. I hit him with an Innervate, which gets, uh, which my special two puts on. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't even want to watch this special three. There's no point. Okay. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll go in with uh, Omega Red. Uh, I don't think it's going to go well, but I'm figuring that I can get, you know, a good chunk down off of him, you know? So I'm trying to put them spores on him, as you can see. All right. There we go. Locked it in. But he's already at a special two. I thought I evaded it, got wrecked. Hate this fight, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, unless you have someone that has a uh, good power control, this is not a great fight. Uh, when I have my Starkey, I can do a much better job against him because I can at least taunt it out. All right, so Marcus, as you saw there, uh, was able to take down that Doom and I felt bad because he used units to revive heal up in order to get that doom down. And I'm like, man, I could have revived. I still have like a few team revives in my overflow. So I'm feeling bad at this point, but you know, it is what it is. What else can I do? So I wait a little while and then the call comes. We just need to finish the boss off. So I'm like, okay, well, all my guys are down. But as I mentioned earlier, I do have some uh, team revives left. You see, I'm capped out on them and I have like three of them in my overflow. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to heal up. I'm not going to boost up. Let's just go in here. And my thinking with Guillotine 2099, as you see right here, she triggers self-repair uh, self right off. Okay, look at, look at her health. So I like guillotine 2099, but I'm still not used to this fight. And then I did this, try to evade it. That pretty much lost me this match. And I felt bad, 
Uh, it was not Guillotine 2099's fault. That was me uh, trying to evade that. I would have done better just blocking it. Uh, I would have done so much better uh, just blocking that attack. So I'm like, all right, well, let's just go in. Let me get used to uh, Warlock and, and fighting him and all that good stuff. Maybe I can get rid of some uh, uh, health of his. And as you can see here, I'm playing a little bit differently than I was earlier. Just getting used to it. Now you see that power flood, very annoying. Um, but in any case, all I'm trying to do here, see a little uh, cheeky uh, intercept there. And then I pushed him to a special three. Fun, fun, fun defense tactic node. All right, so quit that. Didn't bother to see the uh, special three, don't care. And then I'm like, okay, I already know Gladiator Hulk is not going to be able to take him down. But at least I can go ahead and, uh, you know, get a, a few licks in. But more importantly, just to get used to this fight a little bit. Okay, and you see there, I was able to bait out that special two. So you can make the defense tactic work for you. Okay, that's what I was learning here. Uh, you can make it work for you because it does make it easier to push them to, you know, a special two, for example, which is easy to evade on Warlock versus that special one. Okay, so now at this point, I'm like, okay, that is it. You know, we've got our warm up. Now we need to go in and fight this Warlock for real. Okay, I didn't give guillotine 2099 a good showing uh the first time so she's out for revenge right now so you'll notice now i'm doing some intercepts i'm trying to uh, play keep away a little bit all right and you see here i'm automatically i'm just immediately going into a block right after i pushed him to a bar of power that way he's less likely to fire that special one off and i was able to push him to a special two which was easy to evade Okay, you see I'm blocking, and now I'm pushing him to a special two. And now, grab that special two, and all I want to do at this point is bait out that special two again. Wash, rinse, and repeat. So we're doing pretty good here. All right, see here? And then I'm blocking, and now I'm going in again, trying to push him to a special two. Did it, and bait that out. And we're doing good. And I have a special one that has a power drain if I need it. You know, if I push him to a special one and I know I'm not going to get him to a special two like here, special one off, drain him, take him out. OK, that's how it should have gone the first time I fought with Guillotine 2099. All right. So that was my contribution to this war. Uh, we're pretty sure that we lost this war. OK. Um, I looked at the score and yeah, we, we are down by a lot. I don't know how many, uh, deaths don't count, you know, and by don't count, I mean like all those deaths that I had right there against the boss and against, uh, doom many, they didn't count. Uh, the bonuses were already gone. Okay. So we'll be back and we will find out the results of this war. And we're back, and as you can see, and as no surprise, we lost this war. Uh, I believe motivation was extremely low. I don't think anyone really cares about the remaining wars this season. Uh, we do want to get the best rewards that we can, but we're going to be going back to our main alliance after this season. So there's a attitude of it really doesn't matter. Uh, we were trying to get platinum. But that last war where we didn't even drop one of the bosses pretty much killed that hope. And it looks like people, you know, just really don't care for the remaining uh, war of the season. So uh, we'll find out. We're going to still try. But, you know, my BG always tries. We'll see what happens. So take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all... Have a blessed day.